President Moon Jae-in has been working to jumpstart South Korea's diplomatic agenda after a months-long vacuum caused by the massive power abuse scandal that brought down the previous administration. He met with three of his special envoys who returned to Korea last week. Getting us up to speed with efforts to normalize foreign affairs is our Hwang Ho-joon. On Monday morning, South Korean President Moon Jae-in summoned the special envoys he sent to Russia, the European Union and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, who all delivered President Moon's personal messages to the leaders of their assigned states and who returned to South Korea last week. <laughs> Attending the meeting were the Democratic Party's Hong Yong-gil, who'd been sent to Russia, Seoul Mayor Park Won-sun, envoy to ASEAN, including visits to Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia, and Seogang University Professor Cho Yun-jae, who went to the EU and who also stopped in Germany. During the meeting, President Moon stressed how important it is to cultivate good relations with Asian and European nations, especially Russia, calling Song's meeting with Vladimir Putin a great achievement, as it was the first time a special envoy from South Korea personally met with Russia's president. And according to Moon, it can help provide a strong hand to Seoul when handling Seoul Pyongyang relations. Uh, Siberia, the spokesperson for the presidential office of Chawadek confirmed that President Moon is serious in advancing the current relations Seoul has with Moscow. President Moon ordered to draw a line between cooperative projects between South Korea and Russia and the three-party cooperative projects, which includes North Korea, and to speed up our cooperative projects with Russia regardless of the progress of inter-Korean relations. President Moon's diplomatic agenda is coming together now less than a month since his inauguration. His envoys managed to lock in some big summit meetings in the coming months, the first one being with President Trump in Washington in late June. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.